Long story short, I'm a drummer. I'm good, but never hit the big time. COVID taught me to dream big, so it's time to upskill. I'm going to be chatting to musician friends and learning new skills that will make me a superstar. Or at least a better musician. I'm Joff, that's my dad Noffa, that's Nora, that's an old bike pump that doesn't work. You're in the garage of possibilities. This is Soundtrack to Our Lives. It was late 2016. I was in bed. I was two hours deep into a YouTube rabbit hole. After watching a video of a meerkat breakdance, I clicked on the next link. It was a music video called South Sudan by TLB, a Melbourne hip hop collective. Could I be a hip hop artist? That night I dreamt about being the greatest MC in the world. And then I woke up. I got no chance. But this is a new year. And in the garage of possibilities, we're all about fixing punctures and taking risks. I will learn how to bust a rhyme, damn it. And I know the perfect person to help me out. Raw Acott is a hip hop artist, poet, and actor from South Sudan. Ain't no time to fool around, had to make my stack. I came with the gang and the yo got my back. In 2005, he immigrated to Australia with his family. Raw's music speaks of the hardships and triumphs he has experienced in his young life. His music is continually growing and evolving through his powerful lyrics and live performances. Raw, hello, and welcome to the Garage of Possibilities. Hey, Joff, thank you so much for having me on board. So great to have you here. Hey, so I've got a couple of questions for you. 2020 was a really tough year. How important was music for you during the challenging times? To be honest, I really think the music has been really important um, because it kept my mind away from the negative stuff and it kept my mind going and it kept me strong. It's been a big part um, throughout the whole time. I hear you on that. Music's been really important to me as well. Hey, as an artist, you're so talented. You're a poet, you're an actor, you're a hip hop artist. How important is it to try new things? I really think it's very important for an artist to kind of venture out of the um, the things that they know, they're able to come back and implement those um, inspirations into uh, their daily practices. What advice would you give to a kid who wants to do what you do, but doesn't know where to start? Just like connect within your network and see um, who's able to help you. Everything that I do, I started within the community. So I really uh, recommend connecting with the uh, young people and the adults around and just seeing how they can help. You talk about community, so how important is family and community in your arts practice? I learn a lot um, from the family um, about, you know, my history and the past and all that stuff. And community is really important because it helps you with your self-esteem and confidence. So I learn from both worlds. So do you write music by yourself or do you work with someone else? From now on, I always write on my own and if I do feel like um, there should be someone within the track that I'm writing, then I'll reach out to them and be like, I'm hearing you on this song, so are you able to kind of write a verse or a chorus? But I mainly write as a solo artist. Okay, Raw, you know I want to be a hip hop artist. Do you think you can make my dream a reality? All right, let's do it, man. I'm down if you're down. Okay, Raw, so where do we start? Where we start is you have to find out what you want to write about and why you want to write about that. So that will be step one. Great. Okay, I know exactly what I want to write about. I want to write about Nora, our new puppy. She has been really important to us during lockdown. You say you want to write about Nora, right? In this part, you'll be talking about what Nora looks like, what Nora does, and uh, how Nora makes you feel. That's good. Nora, she has curly hair. Um, she always tries to eat the garden. All right, heaps of stuff. I'll try and think of more. Step three would be to actually um, identify the key phrase and kind of just um, seeing what you could do with that. Yeah, there's a phrase. There's a phrase that we always use. It's Nora, we adore ya. And it rhymes. That's pretty good. I'm not going to lie about that one. Nora, we adore ya. I would use it as in the chorus or maybe at the start of the verse. 
So how long should a verse be? When it comes to writing a verse, uh, the industry standard is actually 16 bars, but you're also able to play with that, you know? So we've got the chorus line. So where would you put the rhyming words? Generally, you would put the rhyming words into uh, the first beat and the second beat. So there's one, two, three, four. So you would place uh, the rhyming words on the two and the four. Could you give us an example? Okay, I could do that. So, um, I was walking down the streets. I was so hungry I had to get something to eat. So, street and eat are your rhyming words. Now, you could place those wherever you like, um, but in this case, we're gonna place them on the two and the four. That feels so clear, thanks Raw. And thanks everyone for joining us in the Garage of Possibilities. I'm pumped. So, can I take this away and show you what I come up with? Sure thing, Joff. Okay, Raw, here's a moment of truth. I've, um, I've sent you a link. I really hope you like it. Let's do it. Let's hear it for Nora. She's a fluffy beast that sits for treats. If you're not careful, she'll bite your feet or steal your seat. Let's all stand back while she does some tricks. She can stay, stay. She can sit, sit. She can shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake. She tries to eat the garden and doesn't beg the pardon. Cuddly and cute and puppy school, she's astute. Her hair is curly and she says hello and has big ears, a bit like Dumbo. We call her Nora, the explorer. The explorer. And we adore her. They busting the dance moves as well, huh? Wow, okay. Yes, so you like it? It's good? I really like it. I like the video, I like the concept. Man, you actually had it. I like what you were wearing too in the video, it's pretty sleek. Thanks, Raw. Thank you for believing in me. Hey, it's all you, man. I was just, you know, there for two seconds and I taught you some bits and look what you did. You created magic. I couldn't have done it without you, Raw. Thank you so much. Thanks, Joff. <laughs> Nora, I adore you.